Pokemon Cries, a small feature that has been around since the first Pokemon games. This feature is often overlooked, but it really does add some nice diversity between all Pokemon. Most Pokemon Cries are just a generic Screech or Roar. For instance, this cry right here. Could you tell me to which Pokemon that cry belongs? Most of you probably can't. If you were able to guess that it was Nidoking, congrats! You win, uh, a, f a free hug coupon. Yeah. But anyways, as you can see, it's hard for us to decipher Pokemon cries from each other. But today, I'm going to show you 10 crazy Pokemon cries. The cries that we will cover in this video aren't my favorite, nor are they the best. They're just the cries that really stand out to me. Whether they're super catchy or super weird, they're all recognizable. And remember that this countdown is strictly based off of my own opinion. And I know, I know, you guys want to share your opinions too. Well, feel free to tell me your favorite Pokemon cries in the comment section below. Anyways guys, we're going to start off with some cries that aren't too out of this world, but are definitely recognizable. As we work our way down to the bottom of the list, the cries will slowly get more and more crazy. So, let's jump right into number 10. Krogunk is a poison and fighting Pokemon from Generation 4. Its design is based off of the Poison Dart Frog. Krogunk's cry is a pretty recognizable one. It isn't too crazy, but whenever I hear it, I can immediately tell that it's coming from a Krogunk. Let's take a little listen. So, like I said, it's nothing too spectacular. It almost sounds like it has a bad cold and is just trying to clear its throat. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I just have to clear my throat. <laughs> Another Gen 4 Pokemon, Buneary, has a very recognizable cry. Buneary is a normal type Pokemon whose design is based off of... A, a, a rabbit. Duh. Its cry is a very high-pitched sounding chirp. <laughs> Similarly to Krogunk, this is a very memorable cry. Whenever you hear it, you will instantly be able to know that it belongs to a Buneary. <laughs> Probably the most famous of all Pokemon cries is Krikatoons. Krikatoon is a bug-type Pokemon who was brought to us from Sinnoh. It is a stage 1 Pokemon that evolves from Krikatot. As you can tell from their names, they are based off of a Cricket along with a Violin Beetle. Which is a nope, get that out of my face right now. Anyways, Krikatoon's cry is among the most catchy cries out there. As you can see, or, um, uh, here, Krikatoon's cry is a funny-sounding little harmony. Its high-pitched and simple melody makes it one of the craziest cries of all time. Porygon and Porygon 2 have some pretty neat cries, but Porygon Z is where it gets real. Porygon Z is a stage 2 normal type Pokemon. It's supposed to be a Porygon that has been overcome by a virus. Given that information, one can only expect its cry to get, well, weird. Porygon Z's cry sounds broken and glitchy. Check it out. As you can hear, Porygon Z's cry is very, very strange, but fitting. I will surely always be able to know where it's coming from. Taking a break from a bunch of 4th gen Pokemon, I believe that Phantump's cry is very wacky and memorable. Phantump is a grass and ghost type Pokemon introduced in the 6th generation. Its design is based off of a haunted sapling. There are a lot of spooky ghost Pokemon out there, but none of their cries really put me on my toes. Except for Phantom, that is. As you can hear, Phantom's cry is a high-pitched howl that will be sure to give you goosebumps every time you hear it. Most Generation 1 Pokemon have a very boring and plain, underwhelming cry. They all sound very similar. Well, except for Pikachu, who literally says his name, but that doesn't even count. However, one has always stuck out to me over the years. That cry belongs to Hypno. Hypno's cry is a very infamous one, as Hypno has tons of shade and mystery surrounding it. Hypno once even abducted a little girl. And for that reason, this cry will frighten me forever. For some reason, I don't really see Tropius as a scary Pokemon. It seems like a graceful, innocent kind of guy. But its cry says something else. Tropius is a grass and flying Pokemon from Hoenn. Its design is the mix of a sauropod, sauripod, long neck dinosaur, and also a banana plant. Its cry sounds like a harsh growl, which in my opinion isn't fitting at all. 
Yeah, like, no, no. Anyways, I believe that a high-pitched chirp would have fit Tropius a bit better, but this growl is something that I can easily identify. Magnezone is the stage 2 evolution of Magnemite. It was introduced in the 4th generation, and is based off a, a... a magnet... spaceship... thingy... of Doom, and has the electric and steel typing. Its cry, somewhat similar to Porygon Z's, is very electrical sounding, with various beeps and whistles. Listen to it. I honestly think that this cry couldn't be any more fitting. It's exactly what I would expect a living magnet ship thingy of Doom to sound like. The runner-up goes to one of the most disturbing cries I've ever heard. Gastrodon is a water and ground type introduced in the fourth generation. It's based off of a sea slug. Its cry, though, is... Uh... Well, just listen to it for yourself. What is that? That doesn't sound like a sea slug at all. I mean, granted, I have no idea what the hell a sea slug would sound like, but definitely not that. That sounds like a hurt child screaming in pain. I don't know what it is about Grastrodon's cry, but it has always stuck to me as a very crazy and memorable one. And finally, what Pokemon could have a cry more crazy and disturbing than a screeching sea slug? Camerupt can. Camerupt is a fire and ground Pokemon from Gen 3 whose design is based off of a camel mixed with a volcano. Its cry is... Just plain violent. Listen to this. What the hell am I listening to? How can you tell me that this innocent looking guy has a cry that sounds like a rabid dog tearing apart a helpless animal? It's just weird to me. I remember when I first heard it too. I was in the ground friend safari in Pokemon Y. As soon as a camera up appeared and let out its menacing cry, I was in shock and immediately asked my brothers what they thought of it. Of course, they agreed with me, saying that it is terrifying. It's so horrifyingly amazing. And that's why it takes the number one spot on this list. Thank you so much for watching my top 10 craziest Pokemon cries, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit that subscribe button as we just hit... 5,000 subscribers a few weeks ago, and we're already working our way up to 6,000. Thank you so much for all the support recently, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.